All right, so let me get you out the door right now. I want to show you what's happening. It's a fine night. It's a little bit on the cool side. We're looking live here toward uh, Logan Square. You see the beautiful lights of Center City. Temperature-wise, we're at 40 degrees in Philly. Today, a, a normal day in terms of your temperatures. We topped out at 42. The normal is 41. Feeling cooler than that with the breeze. We're at 41 right now in Wildwood. We have some 30s out there in many spots. Mount Pocono at 27. Feeling like 14. But here's the numbers that you need to kind of dress for if you're going out. It's a jacket kind of an evening. Obviously, it's late January. It's it's not breaking news. Uh, 29 degrees in Trenton right now, 30 in Reading. We got 26. That feels like temperature in Allentown and very near the freezing mark here around the city. So the evening forecast for the rest of tonight, we have some clouds that are out there. They filled in. It was nice to see the sunshine earlier. We'll call it mostly cloudy with a few clouds breaking later tonight. Temperatures sitting in that 40 to upper 30s range, but feels like temperatures near the freezing mark all the way through, eventually dropping on down to about 30 degrees, upper 20s, low 30s or so. We're looking around the region. Cloudy conditions, for the most part, is the rule. We'll get some of these breaks a little later tonight, and then more clouds fill back in tomorrow. I'll walk you through your fresh, uh, updated future cast. And once again, passing clouds, but it will be nice and clear at times throughout the evening, especially later, tomorrow, later tonight. Into tomorrow morning, like this afternoon, you probably want your sunglasses. I mentioned this earlier. I had to pull my sunglasses out when I was driving into work today. Didn't have to do that in a while. I was like, oh, hopefully they're still up in the visor. Uh, that'll be the trend tomorrow morning, but then the clouds quickly fill in. Your drive home from work will likely be an overcast sky. And notice here, if you look closely, you see these lines, these wind barbs. A little bit of an easterly wind tomorrow. I wouldn't call it a windy day, but certainly a bit of a breeze, so that will knock our temperatures down. But that's that added moisture from the water uh, over the ocean, and that's just going to help pump in these clouds. There is a weak weather system that's going to be rolling through tomorrow night and Wednesday morning. I'm stretching here. This is by no stretch our next weather maker at all. You'll see some blips on the map, a little bit of blue, maybe a little bit of green, a stray shower, stray flurry. I mean, nothing of significance, certainly no accumulation uh, on Wednesday. That's what we're watching. And then those clouds start to erode. And as we get into Thursday, uh, things start to go up temperature wise. Before tonight, partly cloudy, not as breezy, 30 degrees. So it will be a chilly start to your day. And then temperature wise, as we look over the next few, here's the way it is start out that 30 degree temperature, go to about 35 by 10 o'clock in the afternoon. We're going to go low 40s, so anywhere between about 40 to 42 degrees. Wednesday starts out a little bit warmer. Daytime high gets a little bit warmer, slightly above normal. And temperatures are going to continue in that upwardly trend. By Thursday, we go near 50 degrees, so looking really good. A nice start to February. How about that? And then by the weekend, we're dropping temperatures back down. We're going to keep the sunshine there. It will be chilly, but guys, notice what we don't have on here is mm -hmm. our next weather maker. Certainly not a next weather alert, so we'll keep you updated. Mm -hmm. Kind of nice to get a, a dry stretch for a change. Mm -hmm. All right, buddy, thank you.